Hello, 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 hello. Guten Tag, guten Morgen, guten Day, Labas Dienas, Labas Rites, Labas Vakaras. Hey. Yo, my kids. Hello, how are you doing today? You're good, so good. Special. Looking good, feeling good, all good? Yes, just came back from a cool event, me and Gustav. Yes. So yeah. we were the <laughs> listeners, now we are switching sides to the speakers, so... Exciting. When you make, Let's go. We, we were talking when you make online event and there come I don't know seven ten people, it's it's just a fact. It sometimes happens. Like for us, I know the next year it will be the reality. But when you make offline event and there come seven people, it's a little bit uh, I would say more time wasting than uh, than every other stuff. So we was on the event. There was uh, there wasn't uh, many people, but uh, it was great. I think there was three great presentations i will share in my instagram profile later these learnings um what we learned from that event artists how we learned uh what other agencies are charging and how much uh how much how big are their expenses for the videos for ugc videos got some insights uh also learned some things about branding heard some uh different perspectives that we don't hear usually from uh, our performance people uh that was cool and um uh, what else yeah it's also maybe a different approach to making ugc different way how we're doing it uh, they were doing it quite uh like more uh, uh for organic content than for ads we are making purely uh direct response ads so it was cool maybe we i think we can take some things and uh yeah learn I think I think that's a, that's a big learning from the business side. If somebody is building the business and he has an amazing product, then there is a huge thing that you need to firstly uh, sell the need of the product as itself. Like if you talk about UGC videos, everyone is talking that you need it, but still you, as a business owner, don't understand exactly what you will do and how you will benefit from that. Um, it's hard to sell some kind of the services. So that's what we do. We show, okay, these ads will make you money. So let's film the UGC videos. And that's, that's how it, and they have a different uh, way of the selling. They sell idea about getting those uh, UGC videos, but uh, still they do, do, they do something. Uh, Yanis, how was your morning? All good? All, all, all fine? I feel fucking amazing. Sorry for cursing, but I feel really good. Um, okay, great. Great mornings. Uh, makes great uh, evenings. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so the first half, as, as always, let's go through some news. Then after that, let's go jump to the, some shops. Let's see what uh, the shops are doing. Uh, bad or good. And then just uh, sharing some learnings what we have learned this week from uh, our clients where, where we scale daily uh, clients to the moon. Yeah. And and more <laughs> so um the first news we are talking to several weeks uh, in a row about uh, what will happen with the sales uh, it will grow or it will fall down what will happen and uh, the first uh, information is that uh, cross-border luxury sales increases that's uh, um, I think that's happened because people want to save a little bit uh, money on those luxury things. They still want to buy them, but they want to save money. And sometimes buying those luxury things in other countries, it uh, makes them cheaper. Uh, I don't know what you think, guys. Why, 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 the, why the luxury sales has uh, increased? I think that... Uh... I don't know. I have heard it somewhere, but I cannot uh, tell exactly. And I don't know if it's true. I think it's true. Uh, in this consumer uh, consumer culture that we have in 2022, that has, uh, you know, people are used to buying. And I think a lot of people, especially in USA and in the developed and rich countries, I think when the times are bad and when stressful things are happening, the sales of these kinds of things uh that, that that seem not necessary like luxury brands they can increase because uh the people use those purchases as a way to ma make them happy uh, make themselves happy yeah. and uh, maybe you know uh enjoy life and uh they're telling themselves not everything is so bad you know i, I buy it by this and uh i try to feel good in this way 
maybe in their uh of course i'm talking about people who who have savings and who can buy it and uh yeah. I, I i think that's true that in bad times it's not necessarily that uh, of course overall the sales will decrease but uh some people will still will still want to buy those luxury things even more maybe than in the good times yeah that was the same we were talking about just world war ii when the jewelry brand was growing in the revenue no matter that the war was happening so that's how the people uh try to make their self happy i see this is a, another side it's a better store of value you you buy clothes in zara reserve there's no value like shit clothes in general but when you buy these luxury clothes you can buy in one uh one country you can maybe hold it and resell it in other country for the same amount of money or even bigger amount of money so there's the reseller part as well okay okay yeah maybe they are making some business of that that that's maybe uh, too they it. are it's it's actually really popular in america reselling and make finding ways where you can uh, buy these uh, clothes or luxury brands cheaper in other countries and then reselling in the us so okay so uh, they are really like investing money you are telling yeah that's also like that's not i'm not saying that's the only like i agree to archers and just saying that there's a percentage of this happening as well I it's think, like with I'll, shoes i think archers is uh, aware of the shoe market right in the usa yes, yes, it, yes. It, it's the same thing that happens with uh with these ones yeah, yeah i think yeah. The reselling market's big yeah i think it's overall people has more used to buy uh, more expensive things online from this two years that we had with all this uh, C919 and everything, and people are ready to buy more expensive things online. And that's maybe some kind of the way, uh, like if before that, like, like we are really right now with Atos in Dubai, and the biggest thing here is to go and enjoy the shopping uh, process. And that's where they make a lot of money. But uh, those, those, consumers who know what they want it's easier for them to buy online maybe go into the shop like for the showroom see what they want and then after that go home and find in uh, online what what they what where they can can get it for a smaller price okay this clear uh, on-site lifestyle videos enhance a brand and that's something really really interesting because um we will go after that these uh, five shops i think let's see what they are doing in marketing side but uh it's something it's really interesting that one time there was good working the just this banner uh, with the pictures then it's with the video time but then was a huge problem again the video was loading really slow and you made really slow your home page if you was creating the video into the on site like this uh, upper side like uh like when you make it i will show you one second like here when you make the videos we had one brand we built the same for them we can show it makes this home page a little bit slower but right now i think they are following the there was the video or, uh, yeah here was the video and you see that it makes this homepage good, yeah, but it's making it slower. So maybe this on-site lifestyle videos is coming back because uh, it's uh, they, like it, the technology is allowing them to show and not make it really, really slow. So that's a good news. I, I like those videos in the in the homepage. I really don't like that what they are doing with the homepage speed, but I really like a lot of them yeah they, they definitely improved the website that's for sure and uh but yeah when i when i consulted clients like before uh before we even started in uh in eco hub i al always told them uh replace these videos for images because you can the, still the impact is not so huge it's like a small impact and page speed comes above you know this thing because you can still make great impact with uh with an image and uh right now the if in coming years definitely will change when the 5g comes fully into place when everyone has 5g uh then uh, when everything loads super quickly then definitely i think every website uh, should have videos now no question about that 
but page speed is uh, number one, definitely. Yeah, but uh, so I hope they will solve it and then we can, because that's a great experience to see the video and the product. Uh, that's like you, you are getting this real life uh, uh, feeling, I think. I cannot forget this uh, one example that we saw with the UGC videos where there was like, you know, the nine by 16 frame and you could scroll like uh, many UGC videos immediately when you came in the homepage. I, I'd love those things to be implemented, you know, but again, right now it still would be a problem with the loading speed. Yeah. It's like, you see what they are doing with their uh, homepage speed. It's crazy. 24, seven, 24 seconds to interact, interact. It's like, it's crazy numbers. I, and this is all about the videos. Okay. They need yeah, to upgrade their homepage. <laughs> okay. We can go after that, all these videos, uh, through all those brands, uh, see what they are doing in, in the e-commerce side, maybe too. Um, e-commerce product releases. So what has happened into the November? So from the big, big brands, what they have done. So big commerce now integrates with the snap for merchant and adver uh, merchant advertising. I really didn't know. I, I don't know if we have mentioned that the Snapchat was the fastest growing, uh, uh, social media in the quarter one in 2022. Do you know that? Yes. Uh, yeah, me you, and know because, so you know, we... because we were on the same meeting and uh, snap told exactly. us. <laughs> yeah, but. That's, that's, I think, uh, we are already talking about that's the future where you can buy everything into the straight into social media. But I today I heard that uh, uh, those marketplaces like Amazon, uh, they will try it this year too. And in Russia, you have many marketplaces and they have already, they are building the social media into the marketplace and not uh, from social media to marketplace. So that's crazy too. That may be a new direction too. So Meta Arthur makes shows a bit, at least for me. Uh, Meta creates some new tools for creators. That's good. That's what they need to do. Live chat launches open widget. So that means free and easy to install e-commerce business to improve customer satisfaction. Yeah, this live chat still is like huge thing. It it, it hasn't been sold. Uh, Amazon, Amazon launches a merchant cash advance program. So that means, uh, growth for sellers, uh, sellers profit margins. Okay. I don't know what that they means. They provide I'm capital not... to these, ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I understand. They help you. They help you yeah. sell in probably in turn of, uh, not so best deal, but you know how it is with these companies. I see launches search by image. That's cool too. You pay launches, uh, card sharing app for US Shopify stores. Okay. So there will be those apps, which is giving you possibility to, yeah, that's, that's good. YouTube introduces live Q and A. So they are trying to get more and more people in their lives. So what we do, so YouTube push, please this video, uh, to more viewers so we can make them more. Apple to pay, um, Square Spring to create a commerce to sell it. YouTube to launch, go live together. Uh, yeah, so some news from this. And I had some, uh, some something from Twitter. Uh, this is really interesting. Alibaba Height 11 11 shopping festival sales figures for the first time. So they are not showing the numbers. So that means. I think they are going down <laughs> because why, why should you hide? Alibaba in general, I heard they were in trouble, uh, this year, okay. some, so some situations. So yeah. Okay. So maybe this is just, well, Alibaba. of course, of course it makes no, no, in general, it makes sense. You usually brag uh, if everything goes right, you share these numbers, but if you hide then there's something fishy and it, it's not sushi that is going on there <laughs> yeah yeah the real joker so and this is again we watched that time remember we, we watched the video about the brands most valuable brands how they have changed in in uh in few years
So this is again video. Uh, we were watching about uh, stored uh, uh, platforms, uh, online store platforms. So this is. Are you see here? Yes, yes, my yes. internet crashed, but I'm back. Okay. Uh, Gustav told that uh, we were talking about that uh, Amazon and other like marketplaces are launching their integrated social media. So basically, people do not know there is no need for them to use Instagram and go to Amazon, but they can use Amazon social media and while shopping as well. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh... It makes sense, but uh, let's see if they will be able to change the habits of the people to make them switch the platform. Uh, Amazon definitely is. Yes. Amazon has uh, so much uh, content on their, what was this? Uh, Amazon, not watch, but whatever it is. Uh, they have content to share where people can uh, see. And if people are buying, they have, they have, have this Amazon membership they already are using the content. So now it's just going to be in front of them. But the I'm not sure is, how, uh, how Russian, how Russians or other companies are doing this, but Amazon has everything in place to be successful with this. Yeah, but that's not just the money or something in place. There's uh, you need to bring people the make for people habit. And that's a huge thing to change. It's like, yeah, it's huge when you like, but, like why Instagram is not the next TikTok? Because you can build a habit from the platform which has been used in different way. That's the biggest problem. In, in some way, yeah. Uh, I'm really surprised about Toyota. Toyota here. This is the surprise for me. Yeah, it's the biggest car company. Yeah, but it's, it's it's still it's still like a surprise for me. And Nike, of course, uh, those guys who are selling just sneakers is like amazing. Yeah, get there. I was, I don't know if you want to uh, um, listen. I was listening at, uh, in, one year ago, this uh, book about the Nike owner. Uh, I don't remember how it's called. Uh, shoe, shoe guy, I think something like that. No, no. Shoe. <laughs> Shug Knight. No, yeah, I think Shug Knight it was. And this was real uh, Shoe Dog. Shoe Dog. Yeah, shoe this dog, is yeah. Shoe Dog. This is the good book. And uh, and he was uh, showing in that uh, in that uh, book uh, this all the road how he started. So if somebody's in the start of the business and try struggling and scared and want to find some inspiration, read that book. This book will give you an understanding that you are not solving huge enough problems in your life. And that's all. Uh, so guys, let's get on the pages. Uh, let's see what they are doing. Let's go. Let's go. So this is Mianzi. They are jeweler store. So they are selling this interesting picture. You see, they're putting the ring, the huge. They have some great here. This part looks really good. Gives luxury feel, but I don't like this beginning of the page. Looks yeah, old. But yeah, but it's some kind of the creativity thing. At least they, they are differentiating themselves a little bit. So that's good. This is nice brand. I like it. It's like yeah. for jewelry. The pieces look cool, yeah. This is one good picture, you know. Uh, I mean, if I would have a jewelry brand, I would put like UGC videos in the product page, definitely. Where, you, where there is a close up and you can see it from all the sides, how it looks in a small video. I think that's a must. If you want to put the video somewhere, it's better to put them in the product page than in the home page, I think. Yeah. Okay, this is interesting checkout for Shopify. I have seen it first time, everything in one page. One page 
Shopify checkout. That means they have a <coughs> oh, they have three fake pixels. Uh, this means they have a huge, uh, yeah, they have a 300 followers, not followers, but visitors. So 300 visits, uh, to, it's not that much. Like 300,000, it's not so much. Uh, I like this picture, really. I don't know why. I, yes, like I also way, like it. How they are showing the product. Let's see what they are doing on the Facebook side. I would say the homepage could be like be more, but it's like I think it's some kind of their their style, so that's why they want to hold it like that. But I would say there was uh, more videos, more views, something like that. It was really clean, really like uh, luxury. But uh, I would go for a different direction. Eleven ads, not good. Eleven ads. Still, they are running three thousand. I think this is this is nothing, uh, really. This is not making a money. This is the dep depressive kind of content. Not as depressive as we saw this week. Some of the content <laughs> with, uh... One day we will show you one of the best ad videos we can see. This doesn't work, Artus. There is no chance that this makes them something. I cannot say because I haven't tested uh, enough of these. But uh, yeah, I doubt that they work. They're good for the product page. The most or interesting website. is yeah for the product yeah. page it would work yeah for the website but not for ads how much does uh, this one cost for example uh, 250 euros yeah. yeah 250 usd so my question where they get the traffic i don't believe that that's similar, similar web uh, showed you that i think yeah, but that's, uh, it's not showing it right. It's like search, so it can be anything. So it could be some SEO, it can be, yeah, maybe they're long enough in this market and, and they have their place, but uh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's go to the next one. I think this one, we can't uh, give more information because there is not enough things to very, go through. Very weak at the content. I the count this is very weak, yeah, that, that 100%. So that uh, apparel store, Paka introduced a lifestyle video at the beginning built by nature. So, and I think still it, I'm interested in page speed because that's what <laughs> uh, built by na nature for nature. So what are they selling, snow, how do you think? How would I do it? I think it would be really beautiful. I would split this in two halves and one half I would show the person climbing on the mountains and another yeah. half I would show like kind of the clothes and switching, you know, different types of clothing they have. That yeah. would be really cool. Yeah. So somehow small, big, like bigger, this, uh, uh, how, how that, that action would, uh, would, uh, would, uh, apparel happening or how that, yeah, yeah, that I agree. That would be really nice. Okay, they are selling just this one. Oh, this simple. They have two products. Nice video. Nice video. Love it. Yeah. Product pages, yeah. I like it. It's pretty good. I miss reviews, but otherwise, it's uh, I like these pictures, the layout. They're showing it from all the angles and the video showing the inside of the jacket. Uh, and then below, they are explaining some things about you know how it's made, why it's good for the cold weather. This is quite cool, but uh, yeah, the no social proof. It's quite but this is this is great lifetime guarantee. Yes. yes. 
Okay. Nice. There is so much brands which could add that. And this is cool picture too. You can see details of the product inside. Yeah, I agree. Benefits, everything. Yeah, this this is the cool, cool product page. And you can scroll it and scroll it and still find some new information. About Maybe you're going to find the benefits at the end. Or maybe not. They had some <laughs> reviews at the end, but they had to be higher up there. At least the stars, you know. You have to see. Because it looked like a brand new store right now. Because if I see but reviews, it, it, it means... looks like it is a brand new because they are shipping only in January. I don't know why. It, it looks like a, with a six, uh, six, uh, 160. Direct. Okay, that's still. I don't even if you have a new brand with zero customers, I think it's unacceptable to launch with zero reviews. Just give the product to 10 or 20 friends, just give it to them and ask for a review for the from them. You don't have to write no fake reviews, but just give out the product and in uh and get the review and don't launch with zero reviews. It's stupid, in my opinion. Yes, they're running ads as well. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> wow. How much how many ads are you running? Yes. Yesterday's test it is five, ten, fifteen, almost like eighteen ads they have launched yesterday. Okay, they are selling some kind of their peru thing. It's a little bit the same what we was talking about those Pura Vida bracelet, but they are going on to the onto the uh, apparel. So that's that's really nice. Paga side paga fiber is fully traceable right back to the coordinates. Traceability means a deeper connection to where our clothes. Very bad fiber fiber uh, voiceover. Where the signs plays into power. Days in freezing conditions at night, their fleece is both soft and Brazilian, warm. Okay, they are sales, sales, selling that Lamas has the best uh, uh, from the Lama. Yeah, you can make really good. They do. This reef collection is made from ethically sourced alpaca and really nice. 100% organic pima cotton from the mountains of Peru. Asus, what do you like about this star? This reef collection is made from ethically sourced alpaca and 100% Yes, it's good. From the mountains I like the background and uh, the location. The location for that is great. It's like UGC mix with the branded. But uh, I think they're winning just because they're testing so much. I, I kind of don't like their branding. I think they, they look kind of all over the place. I think yeah. if they if they worked on their branding and made it, made it more consistent, it would, they have a big potential with this like power to launch so many ads. I, I'm not a big fan. Only thing I'm really a fan of is the varia variety of ads that they are launching so many different things and that's why they're probably making money. But uh, I haven't seen any one ad that looks, oh, this is a uh, like perfect ad or a really good ad. Okay, I can understand. So they are just... But it's good. It's definitely like, if there's so many different ads, but I'm sure it makes money. This as a hook, doctor. This as a hook is good one. Yes. 
Oh, that's a cool very unique. Work. Very unique, yeah. Very good. Uh, some good. I see every ad some really good elements that I like and some bad elements that I don't like. Just get, it doesn't give off this expensive feel for me. Yeah. It doesn't I don't get this pre premium feel. I do think about what the I think the fonts, the fonts they are using uh there's like someone like basic font and uh comic sans or something. I don't know, it really fucks up the vibe a little bit for me. Okay. But uh okay. they're running some pictures like and uh, a lot of different videos. Cool. Yeah, the name of the brand is also in place, like Paca. It's yeah. from Alpacas, so it's yeah, good, but this good is product, product, I believe. They, they, are, they are doing good business uh, and good, doing good marketing, like from testing variations, but maybe they could upgrade the quality of those variations. And they yeah. have, they have okay, they are not uh, breaking their uh, homepage with this uh, video there, so that's good. So this is good video. <laughs> this is so nice. Yes. This is nicely done. And the branding immediately. It's like, I don't know, it's pleasant. It just looks pleasant how everything looks. And you see the button. It's really nice. Start now and get free treats for life. I would make it bigger so it's easier to read, but uh, it's really clean. I love this homepage. Okay, we are go going to choose a receipt. Oh, another one. By Gainful. Let's see what they will give you. Okay, it's some ah, it's some subscription business. So you get oh, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven samples for thirty-two. It's a it's a good price. Actually, for a subscription business, this is a genius uh, offer. How they have positioned it. They are saying subscribe and get free treats for life. So that means every month they are adding a small pack of treats, like for cats. They're probably like few one or two cookies or these things they can chew on. Cost them nothing, nothing, one dollar maybe. And they are positioning it. Subscribe, you get free for life. The uh, treats, which is great positioning. This is something every band, a brand almost can take. You know, imagine subscribe and you get, for example, vitamin D for a subscription brand. You get vitamin D free for life. What an offer! They, Amazing. They provided catnip. Everyone, every cat loves loves uh, loves catnip. What is it's like a snack or what? Uh, catnip is like a weed for cats. Ah, so they are yeah they are relaxed. Oh, okay. And their and their homepage. I like the style. I yes. really like the style. This is this is good branding. I think. Very modern. Looks very new, very fresh. Uh, yes, this font, everything, branding is awesome. And it's like learning about cats, about this habit, what they do, how they will change with this food, that the coat will improve, high protein. Yeah, like this is this is really nice. They have done it good. And, and the review from more cats, that's a nice. And cat business uh, over uh, any product that's in the uh, surrounding cats, it's like a, it's like such a big opportunity because the people are so passionate around cats. It's crazy. Yeah, the testimonial thing that was smart. I think cats is the ones that are the providing and the testimonials. Part of the, uh, asking the questions. That's uh, uh, I, I like this business a lot. No, I hate cats. <laughs> uh, you have allergy. 
Oh, nice. Look at this, how this product looks like. Did you know your cat's poops have a lot about their health? Yep, most vets say that the quality of a cat's poop is affected by their diet, water intake, exercise, and their overall health. So if you ever find diarrhea in your cat's litter box, see a change of color in their poop, or notice that they're constipated, it might be a good time to shout with your vet. And have you heard so they're of educating. cat food subscription? That's to look. Yeah, that's, that's nice. But they are educating their customers. It's amazing. They, they know what they're doing with that. They just should test a little bit more. I think the, the direction is really great. But 43 ads, like if you want to run the business, it will. Yeah, it could be better. It could be run. I was missing but, some faces in the UGC. I didn't see no people faces. Uh, that could yeah, improve the it results. It was all around the cat. This is the cat, cat, cat business. So it was all around the cat. Yeah, but still, it could. You know, Facebook it loves faces. And, uh, okay. It loves when you show the face. But uh, yeah, uh, it's good. They know what they're doing. Good branding, good ads, more tests, more ads. They should just create more ads. That that's all. They should so they learn can... from Pack. And Pack, uh, Pack should learn from them. <laughs> That's how we learn from each other. Okay, let's go to one more brand, and then the, I think that's the last for today. Thruff, your new essentials, fan favorite gift sauce, sauces, start pack. Okay, this is a decline offer. I just declined offer. Can I get it back? <laughs> okay, this is some sauce business. Yeah, I think uh, this kind of business, I don't know, that's just what I think. Uh, I think it's impossible or very, very difficult to scale without influencer marketing. I think that's the only way or the first way that comes to my mind. How would I do this if I had a sauce business? Because just with ads, uh, with basic ads, with no authority, it would be difficult to differentiate, you know. It's so There's so many sauces. Yeah, it's so difficult to run some commodity brands online and get some sales for the products you are buying into the regular shop. I think that's a huge problem overall. Yeah, people are not used to sauce. They don't even think about ordering sauce online. That's like a weird thing to do. You know, you buy it, you order from your Kareem app on your groceries or you buy it in the store, but not in the... Not from Facebook ads, you know, and buying also sauce. depending, also depending on a person who's behind the behind this brand. Maybe there's already some kind of influencer that has created this, so it will make sense. Yeah, for example, if, if Gordon Ramsay launches uh, Ramsay sauce, it's gonna sell like crazy. But uh, if yeah. a random guy launches his sauce, then it's tough, even no matter how good it is. Yep. Shopping just got a whole lot easier. Yeah, you can sell it as a as a, as a gift, one hundred percent. And this is good video. It's a branded yes. one. It, it could work. Beautiful. Like, it's a beautiful video. We we need to learn from this because this is high quality. I would say seems like UGC, but it's not the UGC. It's a professional video. It could work. What? What they should do for ads, maybe they, they're already doing something. They should show just when you when you when they put sauce on the food and they show people trying the food with the sauce and their reactions. They should run something like that. But let's see, maybe they'll do. How many ads do they have? I got just not that much. I think they have bought some. They are not doing anything inside. They have bought some kind of the 
one pack from some agency and they have created this uh, two different actors and that's all what they do. I, I would say this is the first test at uh, social media ads. Like why to choose? Okay, okay. <laughs> why to show the seasoning? It's like it's a, it's a it's a salt. You don't need to explain that that's a salt. <laughs> okay. You can show. Yeah, you can show it a little bit, but they were showing a lot. Let's use like two three seconds to show the product. Uh, branding is cool. Branding looks nice. Yeah, but the three pack for fifty nine dollars. God damn, yeah. must be like really good spices. Yeah, that's something crazy. I think it's because um, it's made of truffles. Everything is truffle, hot sauce, truffles, uh, salt, truffle, that. Uh, so. Truffles is expensive part. Okay, so what we learned from this one? <clears throat> Create a Shopify uh, store that has one page checkout, everything in one place, and uh, first learning. Yeah, and... Uh get all the none of the brands we looked at have all the big parts in place so all of them had one or two but not all three so branding the quality of ads and the number of ads you know you need all three all these three things and a great offer not a, need, one need, really great offer they need to come to those uh, lives what we are doing and just learn from each other so that yeah that was great and yeah just only one company has amazing offer there that's that's uh, the cat company has amazing offers so yeah I, I would say they will have a huge success on that business so good luck for them um so what we have learned so let's get to the third part what we have learned this week from uh, from scaling our clients maybe there are some learnings yesterday i know that one of our clients broke some record in the daily sales i don't know Jans, what we can get what we can learn from that one maybe uh you have something to share maybe when uh, if this black friday i think it's for every everyone for when black friday and when there is a special sales for each brand you just need to use all the channels and use all the tools that at your availability starting from uh, you need to use uh, influencers that are shouting out hey these guys have sales uh, then send emails to remind them that the sale is happening but also warm up before the sale is happening which we did uh, ads about the sales before it's happening. And then on the launch, it's going to be successful. You should not shout out uh, that you have uh, sales at the day that you have sales. Um, so it takes people's kind of some, some kind of by surprise. But if you warm them up, I think uh, it, it works really good, at least for this client uh, record, uh, record day in sales volume. I think this learning is like, let, let's prepare for everything. So write down all the activities you can make to make it big, to make it like to share it. Because if you will choose one channel one time, nobody will see it. So use all the channels. Uh, like sometimes, you know, Burns is saying, uh, I need to, like everyone already knows about that. And we are always saying, no, nobody knows about you. They hear sometimes about you, but that's all. So you need to use all your channels and push that message, what you want to push. Uh, okay, that's cool. Maybe something more? Uh, for me. From a content creation side, I, would not, I wouldn't say that's a learning, but that's maybe an inside thing. Uh, we had an idea how we could reduce the costs of producing the content. And that is uh, finding and working with creators that already are editors and that can edit ads on their phone. Because the editing that is needed for the ads, most of the time it's really simple. And you don't even need uh, to edit on Premiere, Pro, uh, on Premiere Pro. You can edit on your phone. And if you can, just pay a content creator and they can send us back not only the raw files, but the whole video that's edited and ready to launch. That's huge. We can save. We can even uh, get the price down to 50% from what it was before when it comes to editing. Because editing actually most of the time costs more or at least as much as the content creator. So that's yeah. a big idea. Yeah, and also, yeah, and and also testing. Uh, okay, sorry, I will, I will add one other thing. And also testing, uh, we can test the edited, uh, edited 
version and also just putting together the raw files without subtitles, without anything, as soon as we get the content, launching it ASAP and seeing it how it works because uh, we are seeing a lot of ads work uh, for other brands that are not edited, that are just UGC without no subtitles, no music, nothing. They're just talking about the product and it's cut up and you can just quickly test, see the results and then if it's working, or if it shows promise, then you put on the subtitles and extra edits. So that's another thing. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we do right now. We film, we pay separately for filming, and then we pay separately for editing. And today we understood, okay, we can, not today, but like in the previous actions, we understood that let's try to focus more on those who already film and edit it in one time, and it pay, and it's faster. The, the most important, it's faster. You don't need to know, go through all those files. You don't need to understand everything. You just go straight to that, okay? Um, what else? I can add another thing that's uh, maybe in general in business. Uh, yes, uh, of course, you need to have a marketing team that uh, thinks of new new sales, new activities, new events for about, uh, around your brand. But you cannot just leave it to the marketing team to figure out these events out of thin air. I think you have to constantly think, oh, depends on your business, not for every business, but you have to constantly think about new products because we have one uh, really uh, client that is really strong in product, uh, product development in uh, clothing and she's launching new products even uh, that are even uh, not clothing. They're just journals and things like that. And every time when you launch a product, that's like the biggest boost that you can get, especially if you have like a ready customer fan base, they will buy it up. And uh, yeah, if you constantly release cool, really good new products, like every three months, every two months, something new, that's a way how to keep the sales flowing. And in between, when you don't have a new product launch, you just create those events, then you can have higher sales throughout the year. Yeah, that's correct. That's, you need to, you need to understand that audience. What they else would would they buy? And the best when you are the audience, you are selling because then you just need to see. Okay, this is something I need in my life too. Let's add this one too, or let's like and let's educate my 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 audience. That's that's a cool cool way to go. Yeah, and you kind so of build, learn... build this world around your customer. You know, there's many different products. I think we learned this uh, particular of developing products and pushing more products uh, from the one client that we had that didn't develop the products that are always trying to sell the same products. Yeah, we had the product. We had a client who was selling the same product for five years and uh, she couldn't scale. And we thought like, we need more products. And then there was the instinct part was happening. Okay. Um, I don't know from my side this week, uh, learnings maybe is about, uh, I would say about motivation because uh, uh, when you change where you live, when you change your surrounding, you uh, automatically build the, the motivation around what's happening. Uh, because when you make the business, when you make the money or you do some activities which makes money, you need to have your life a little bit more interesting and you need to invest some time, you need to invest money into making your life interesting and that's uh we last week we was in uh, in biggest uh, aqua land in uh, the world um like derived like the far like biggest uh, things and and that done some interesting things so one more time reminder make your life interesting because if your life will be interesting you will be really interested to make more money to make a bigger impact to help more people to see more things and just you will be motivated to do more but if you will be having a boring life and and you can't spend the money you have made then you will don't you will not have a reason to to push harder to get more to make, make bigger things and uh, to to change change this uh, society to better side i think so yeah. that's my learning uh it's nothing new, but it's like one more time it comes through because I was walking like around the biggest building in the world uh, because I'm living here this week and uh, I was like so motivated. I see that like people in the desert has built a place where I'm in the morning walking and birds are singing. I was like, fuck, 20 years ago it was a desert. Nothing was here. So 
So just uh, make your self uh, do more, I think, but through the interesting life. So that's 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 my my strategy on life. Um, make it more interesting. Yeah, I think it really depends on the person on, uh, on the person. But for me, this is also like the same. The more interesting my life is, the more I want to work and the better I want to work and the more I want to do because I see what can I do and how can I expand them. Yes, this is for me also a big learning. Jens, what about interesting life in your side? I actually, I actually think that uh, the best way to grab this motivation is by making sure that uh, the things that we do daily in the work are interesting and that because that's the most that's the that's the most part of the time that we spend in our lives so if that part is not interesting and that's motivating you enough then you are looking outside motivation which is not actually the best place it's it depends for me it's actually other way around i try to look for where i can make my business as motivating for me to pull, move forward because that's my kind of life because I want to spend the most time up there. So I'm not really interested outside life as much. I, I, like I see what you're saying because for me as well, when we get uh, bigger clients, uh, more interesting clients, I also get more motivation. So, but that, it's that not it's not it, me. So. It's it's actually surveyed from the last 20 years of most people, and people are answered that the most important part is actually their workplace. So if they're not happy in their workplace that they do, that is where they look outside motivation for work motivation. So it's, it's not me. It's, but what do you mean I with think... the workplace? What do you mean with the workplace? Because I will be uh, honest, the... I can do the same. I can do the same work when I'm uh, well, uh, well slept. I have been to the gym. I had go to the walk. I had made a good breakfast. I will work work the same thing, much better if I had a really bad uh, experience before work because i know how you Yanis, are reacting when you are having to eat your chicken and rice thing and you are like you you are not happy with your workplace you are just frustrated so that i think is the big thing that uh, i understand what you say and i believe to that to that too but but it's like it's not only about feeling good at your workplace because your work should be it will not be always interesting there will be many times when, of course. It will be when it will be frustrating that everybody everyone has all the time problems and and they came to you and all this will be frustrated but the way i'm i'm not seeing that way that if you are searching the joy outside of the work that you are not happy in the workplace that's not true no no i'm not saying that uh, okay. so, <laughs> like it's, you need to combine both. I think you some people you need to combine both. Uh, at least for me, it's that's you not. Yeah, you need to so combine both. <laughs> uh, maybe. Just uh, saying, you need you need to. Uh, yeah, it's like it's. I think but you, for you, I agree. Food for me, yeah, I love food. I like. Uh, that's uh, if I, I have if I have that in order, everything else is really good in my life. Uh, so that I agree. And that okay, was, yeah. Yeah. This is a, a little bit more philosophical. philosophical you want, <laughs> as discussed about all those stuff, because uh, I have been the guy who was living like lean life without anything. And right now we are just chilling. We are doing the things that we want and still making a, a huge amount of hours in the work and, and doing the big results. So. This always is different. People around you changes, you change you. Every day you wake up other person. So just enjoy that other person and just uh, feel what you want and and uh, don't blame you about nothing. Just go, 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 go. I don't know, go. Go to the next uh, next step in your uh, in your life. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. It was pleasure. It was pleasure to be with you today. Hope you have a great week before ahead so we can next week talk again about those interesting topics and i think it's getting it's get uh, uh, more and more interested so let's see where we will be in one year yeah i yeah, really I actually like these fun. conversations i actually like the conversations about life as well 
that's something that we should maybe try. That's uh, the fourth you know, like part. A, yeah. Okay, we can add. The fourth part will be life. <laughs> what we like, what what, life like life. learnings about what we have not in business but in general, or what we have found out of doing that has improved our life, like uh, area. That, that's also uh, yeah. Maybe that's yeah. a separate kind of thing. Okay, let's add that too. Uh, Artu, if you wanted to tell something. No, no, I told everything. Okay, good. Happy, happy to spend again one hour with you guys. Hope you are listeners happy to grab some likes and comments so we know that you are there. And see you next week on the next uh, lives and uh, on the next episodes. So bye-bye. See you. Thank bye. You. Bye.